I am 19 years old and I am ready to retire. Now that's a really weird thing to say, especially because just a couple of videos ago, I said how I was quitting YouTube, so you probably know that not everything is what meets the eye when it comes to this channel. When I say that I'm ready to retire, I mean that I have enough money to retire. And let me backtrack a little bit, I might not have enough money to retire today, but I have enough money right now that I don't have to put another penny towards retirement and I would be fine. What's up guys, my name is Mateo Hall and I talk about my financial journey on this here YouTube channel. And I wanna to explain to you guys how I'm ready to retire so quickly and how crazy that actually sounds now that I've actually ran the numbers. Before we get any further in, I wanna to talk to you guys about something called the 4% rule. Something super simple in investing. A study that was done on the bond and stock market that took a look at how much money you could take out at any point in time throughout your investing career and still have enough money that you're never really touching the principal. The way that the study ended up concluding, you took out an allocation of 4% every single year that you would have a very high likelihood of never losing any of your money. So that means if you had an investment portfolio of $1 million and you took out $40,000 every single year that you would never touch the principal because on average, the stock market's growing 9 to 11% a year, but it has the years that it drops. That's why we're only taking out 4%. That being said, let me talk about my own personal scenario right now. I only have $25,000 invested. Oh, according to the 4% rule, I should only be able to take out $1,000 every single year. So how am I ready to retire with $1,000 a year? Well, that's the joy of compound interest. You see, in order to get to the median income of where I live right now in Northern Nevada, I only need about $39,000 or the 4% rule would come out to about $780,000. I could never touch my principal once more and wait 40 years and I'll have over three quarters of a million dollars. If I wait 43 years, then I'll have over $1 million. And just like that, there's passive income for the rest of my life. But that sounds really boring to me. In 40 years, I'm gonna be into my late 50s, early 60s, and what am I gonna be spending all that money on? I mean, that's boring, right? So let's do a little bit more math. Let's say instead I put in $900 a month, not a crazy amount, what, 30 bucks a day? Only $900 a month? That cuts down my 40 years to 21 years. That means I'm retiring at 40 if I want to but I don't want to retire at 40 either. That's boring. How about $3,300? That's how much money I would need to retire by 30, which is what I said all throughout the end of high school and the beginning of my real estate career. Now, go ahead and say that is crazy because it absolutely is. In order to do that, I'd have to be making well into the six figures, which it turns out, actually isn't as hard as you may think it is if you put your mind to it. Now, don't get me wrong. It's going to be an effort. It's going to be a brawl and it's going to be hard. But if you focus on something and you really want it that bad, then it is definitely possible. Now, if you guys want, comment down below and I'll tell you how exactly I'm going to be doing that in real estate over these next couple of years because I made a profit and loss sheet dictating exactly that. But what this video is more about is about financial independence and retire early. That's what everything I just talked about was, the FIRE movement. That's what the FIRE community is really about. It's the sliding scale, really. Not everybody's nearly as intense as that. Some are much more calm. Let's go over a couple of terms. I guess I would right now be in this stage kind of considered coast FIRE. It means that I have enough money invested right now that I don't have to put any more forward but I'd be able to retire by a certain target age and never touching that investment again. I could just coast until 60, but that sounds really boring to me. I want to be doing work, which leads into a lifestyle of kind of coin barista fire, meaning that you could live off of your fire income right now, but you're still doing some work because you're passionate about it. You're doing what you love. It's kind of a hobby. You. You like to have a job because it keeps you busy. 
Maybe your job's just making YouTube videos, or maybe you finally picked up your passion for art or photography, theater even. That's what Barista Fire is all about. It's giving you the financial freedom to go and do whatever you want. Be a travel blogger. That sounds like fun to me. I mean, you would see that map right there. I haven't been able to scratch off nearly as much of those different countries as I'd like to. So Barista Fire sounds like a life to me. Another possibility is Lean Fire, which is what I'm going to be getting to within the next 10 to 15 years, definitely. With Lean Fire, you're living slightly below the median income of wherever you are. So for instance, where I live, it's about $38,000 for the median income. So if I was at $35,000 a year, just off my fire income alone, that would be considered lean fire. That's where you're really focusing on everything. A lot of minimalists might be considered in this lean fire scenario. They don't have many things. They don't spend a lot of money. And that's not a bad thing because for a lot of people, that's just their lifestyle. Now, I know one of the things that you've all been waiting for here is fat fire. Fat fire is where you're living in the top 1% of people based off your fire income. Where I'll hope to be eventually in my late 40s or early 50s because I don't plan on stop hustling all throughout my late 20s and everything. Even after I have that money, it's something that I want to keep pushing forward. It's what I want to kind of instill in you guys. I want to keep teaching and sharing everything I know with you guys. With Fat Fire, you're on a nest nest egg of maybe rental properties and you're not even working off the 4% rule anymore. You have several million dollars in equity and building up and you don't have to work a day in your life because of how much money you're cash flowing in and making every single day. So how do you do this math? How do you achieve fire? Now there's a lot more that goes into it than that just this, but the simplest way of calculating it is take your yearly expenses. How much money do you spend every single year and multiply that number by 25? If you're in a scenario where you're only spending or you only need to spend $25,000 a year, then you only need to invest $625,000 in order to get that 4% rule. I suppose if you're making $40,000 a year, then maybe you need a million dollars or $1.2 million. But the truth is it's affordable in the end. Leave this link to a calculator down below that I use all of the time. It will be able to tell you for exactly how much money you have right now and the amount that you're willing to invest every month with a certain return and it will tell you exactly how long it'll take for you to get X amount of money. And it's super easy to use. The fire community is so supportive and helpful too. I've loved everything that I've heard from it and they're all about helping other people out, teaching that financial freedom that you and me really desire. I mean, you wouldn't be here just for my pretty face, right? But applaud you, go check out, multiply your income currently by 25, figure out how much money do you need invested in order to replace your income permanently. Now that sounds pretty great to me. While you're down in the description, I left a couple of little goodies for you guys. Make sure to check those out. I think that you'll really enjoy some of them. Remember to read everything down there, leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, when I tell you guys how you can get your real estate license for free, I'll see you then until we continue our financial journeys.